everyone and welcome back to Get Agitated. Today I'm heading out to the airport to check out what a day in the life of an ag pilot looks like. So let's go. This is Jared, the owner and pilot at Skycroppers in Griffith, New South Wales. Jared is an ag pilot and his line of work is in aerial application or crop dusting as it's sometimes called. This involves the spraying of insecticides, herbicides, fungicides and fertilizers on crops from the air. So today I will be following Jared and the team at Skycroppers around to see what they get up to in an average day. Jared and his team typically wake up and arrive at the airport anywhere between 5am and 7am, depending on what job and location they have to go to that day. The first job for the day is checking what the weather is doing, as aerial application is dependent on the weather conditions, particularly what the wind is doing. You need a bit of wind to get the product being sprayed to settle onto the crops, but too much wind will cause that product to drift elsewhere. Throughout the day, the operations manager, David, organises and liaises with customers, preparing job cards and monitoring the weather in preparation for the pilots and mixers the following day. Once at the airport, Jared and his team start the daily checks on the plane. There is a list of more than 60 things to check every day, including the quality of the fuel, the oil and the tyre pressure, for example. While the team on the ground fuel up the plane and fill it with the product needed for the day, Jared programs the computer in his plane with the information that's on the job cards. Once everything is ready to go, he heads to the runway and takes off for the morning. As Jared heads to the first property, I follow Harry out to an airstrip on a nearby property. When Jared is up in the air spraying the crop, Harry's job is to prepare the product and fuel to refill the plane when it lands. The aircraft has an onboard smoker, which works by the pilot pushing a button on the joystick causing a small amount of oil being squirted into the exhaust, creating smoke. This is done to check what the wind is doing on the field. This enables Jared and Harry to be able to communicate any changes in conditions throughout the day. Harry also has the job card that tells him what chemicals are going to be used and at what quantities, and then that is mixed with water. <laughs> It's a quick changeover period for Harry to connect and pump the chemical into the plane and to communicate anything he needs to to Jared before he takes off and continues spraying. I head over to where Jared is working to get a look for myself what he gets up to. The plane is run on a GPS guidance system, which shows where in the field has already been sprayed and the areas that still need to be sprayed. Jared obtained his pilot's license in the early 80s and started up Skycroppers in 1992. 
Obtaining a commercial pilot's license is basically like a base license. So if you want to do different types of flying, you need to obtain additional licenses on top of that. So Jared has his agricultural license, which allows him to fly at low heights. The GPS system guides where to fly in the field, but Jared is in complete control of the spray. It is controlled by a manual lever that releases and stops the spray. The pilot must maintain a consistent height off the crop. The height is dependent on what product is being applied by the aircraft, whether it's spraying, top dressing or aerial sewing. Keeping in mind the wind direction and ensuring the product is correctly applied, staying within the target zone at all times. When he's finished for the day, Jared flies back to Griffith Airport. The team on the ground are ready for when he arrives to pack everything away. They wash the plane, decontaminate the spray lines, refuel and organise chemical containers, ready to do it all again tomorrow.